Hello friends, welcome to my channel How To. In this video, I am going to explain how to upload your project into GitHub repository using Visual Studio. So let's start. So first of all, open your Visual Studio. Once you open your Visual Studio, then you can see the interface like this. Now for demo purpose, I am creating a new project. So click on the file menu. Once you click on the file menu, here you can see the new option. So over on the new option and select project. So I am going to create a new project. So over here you can see I am selecting ASP.NET Core web app. So select the template and click on next. Give the name of the project. In my case, I am giving project name as my demo app. So you can give your name as per your choice. So I am keeping the location as a default and the solution name as a default. Then I am clicking on the next. So over here you can see the framework. You need to select a .NET framework. So I am selecting the latest one .NET 8.0. I am keeping the other option as a default and click on create. Now Visual Studio is creating my .NET project. So in this way over here you can see my .NET project is created. So in this project, you can add your changes as per your requirement or if you are existing solution, then you can use the same project over here. So once this project is created, over here you can see the option Git. So click on the Git option. Once you click on the Git option, here you can see the option create Git repository. So click on the option. Once you click on the option, you will get the pop up like this. And here is the option create a git repository and here you can see the different types of options. Now I am uploading my project to github. So select the github option. Once you select the github option, over here you can see my local path. This path is nothing but the path of my, so this path is nothing but the path of my app. Now here you can see the git ignore template. So I am keeping it as a default. And over here you can see create a new github repository and over here you can see the option account. So click on this drop down. I am adding my new account which is the github account. So once it is selected it will redirect it to you to it will open the browser and will redirect you to this URL. Now using your github credentials you can log in into your github account. So for that purpose you must have your github account. So enter your username and password and then click on sign in. Once you click on the sign in, you will be redirected to your GitHub account. So if you are logging to your GitHub account first time, then it will ask you for some authorization part. So click on that authorization part. So here you can see we have successfully logged in to our GitHub account. Now go to your Visual Studio. So in this way, we have successfully added our GitHub account. You can see the owner as easy IT for all. Now you can give the repository name as per your choice. In my case, I am keeping it as default. Here you can provide the description of your GitHub repository. So in my case, I am giving this is demo repo. Now this is my public repository. So I am unchecking this option. Now here you can see the option create and push. So select the option. So once you select the option, it will automatically push your code. To github repository now let's wait for this here you can see create github repository started and here you can see create github repository created and push repository to github repository successfully now open your browser now type the url github.com And once you log in to your GitHub account over here, you can see this is my repository that I have recently created my demo app. So click on the repository. So once you click on the repository over here, you can see the files or the code that I have added. So in this way, so in this way, we can add or we can push our .NET code or we can push our project to our GitHub repository. So that's all. Thanks for watching my video.